Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of RVs with Gabby. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, today I am here to show you a new floor plan by Jayco for 2023. This is the J Flight 274BH behind me. Super awesome layout. I know everybody loves their classic 264BH, and this is gonna be a little bit of a step up um, but it still gives you that a unit without a slide that can sleep up to 10 people. It is awesome and I love it. By the way, I'm wearing these glasses because I got LASIK two days ago. Um, so now, from now on, you'll see my videos uh, and they'll be of me without my glasses, which is super awesome. All right, so let's check it out. Here she is in all her glory. By the way, guys, I'm taking this video on my own right now because I still haven't found a replacement camera person. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you prefer when I shoot it myself or when I'm on video to actually show you some stuff here. But yeah, this is gonna be your 2023 Jayco J Flight Model 274 BH. For the year 2023, they have gotten rid of their SLX versus J Flight line. If you take a look down here a little bit, a couple trailers down, you can see I've still got some leftover 22s on my lot. And this is going to be one of their full J Flight series. I actually don't have any more of their SLX models on the lot. Um, but they used to have two different options. Your SLX, which is kind of like your limited edition, and then your full J Flight. And they used to differentiate uh, with the sticker. Let's see, where is the sticker on this one? It's on this wall. So normally you would find the J Flights had two numbers, like 28 BHS, um, 26 BH, you know, 24 RBS, that would signify that it was a J flight model. And then you'd have stuff like the 264 BH, or you would have the uh, 284 B. HS, I think it was. So that would show you that would that's how you would know between the, the J flight and the SLX, the SLXs had three numbers and the regular J flights had two. Now they've done away with the SLX line completely. You've got this new a uh, beautiful looking uh, round front cap with the gray color up front. So that's super spiffy. Looks very nice compared to my 22s down there. Uh, and now you just have the J flight line. So sorry, that took a little while to explain. I just wanted to get that out there. So you guys know about the changes coming from 22 to 23. All right, up front, you've got your integrated A-frame right? You've got your power tongue jack and your 20 pound propane tanks. Nice big rock guard here. Again, that new gray front cap is super sleek looking. And then coming down the side of the coach, you are still pre-wired for a backup and side view camera. So you can easily pop this off, replace it with a side view camera. And when you put on your blinkers, you can see what's going on down the side of your coach, which is fantastic. Uh, you know, they made that model change a couple of years ago. They put this, um, what is it called? Now I can't think of the word. Magnet instead of a clip for your doors, right? Nice big pastor storage here. I love this. You can see their quality construction. You've got plywood throughout. There's no OSB on board. It is Amish construction. On the exterior, you've got the nice big electric awning with the LED light up above. You've got your outside speakers and it does have the um, upgraded steps that will fold right into the coach when you travel. Love that super deep solid top step with a nice big safety handle so everybody can get in and out of the coach pretty easily. Your total length is around 31 foot and 11 inches tip to tip, okay? Um, I know that is deceiving with the model being a 27. So just tack on about three to four feet for um, any models based on their floor plan number. Usually there's a couple feet for the tongue and the, bu and the bumper. All right, this unit sits at 5,300 pounds dry. So you're gonna wanna have a coach that, or a coach, you're gonna wanna have a car that pulls at least uh, 6,500 would be ideal. You wanna be about a thousand pounds uh, less than your total tow capacity and probably wanna get a nice weight distribution kit on there as well. Uh, going down the side of the coach, right? They always do Goodyear tire standard, that's huge. They are number one in the RV industry, uh, better rated with nitrogen filled and they will hold their temperature and pressure better for less, uh, less likely to have blowouts. They do have a six year warranty from Goodyear and don't forget about 
Jayco's galvanized steel wheel well there just gives you that protective barrier. So in case you do have a blowout, it's not going to rip up the side of your coach and uh, drop your valuables all over the road. All right, out here is going to be a TV bracket. So you can get a TV mount and buy your own TV here and put it outside underneath your awning to hang out right next to your outside kitchen. New Kitchen for 23 is going to have the attachment for the griddle on the back bumper here. So this table is two pieces. This top comes off and that leg comes out and it will be stowed up front in your pass-through storage. But when it is all set up here, you're gonna have a griddle top that comes with the unit, right? It comes with it. If you have an outside kitchen, you're gonna get the table and the griddle top. You can tell if it comes with one, like see next door to me, it has this little attachment. This is what it looks like. Uh, they set it up right in the back there because that's going to be where your quick connect is for your LP, which is great. So easy to access, easy to hook up your grill, and you no longer have to, you know, stand inside here to cook. So you do have a mini fridge as well out here. No outside sink, but what they have done is they give you two drawers there, and they give you a little spray port here. And it comes with a spray hose. So this will probably be where you wash your dishes or clean things off as you are cooking. So great, we're around the back now, right? You've got your pre-wire for your backup camera. You have your black tank flush and you have your outside shower as well as your um, full spare. The outside shower has hot and cold water, which is awesome. Excuse me, we got a truck moving. And let's not forget Magnum Trust roof system on the Jayco guys. It's a... Uh, 16 on center wood truss roof with a heavy duty header beams. You've got wood studs instead of aluminum studs, vertical wood studs. You've got extra oversized nail plates and safer wiring. Just overall, that roof is massive. Normally, you can get about 2,000 pounds on a uh, RV roof before it starts to collapse. This unit can do 4,500 pounds. So huge for Florida with trees coming down. Um, that magnet truss roof is everything. All right, on the back here is just where you're gonna drop your tanks. I'll probably make an educational video in the future about uh, dumping tanks because I know there's some people on here looking at these videos and it's your first time looking, you know nothing about these things and it's super important um, to get all the information together. But a uh, cable hookup is right there and not too much else on this back side. You know, you've got your the back of your um, furnace and then your fresh water fill if you were going to dry camp right next to your city water connection so easy to access for both um camp fill, uh, campsite water or uh filling for dry camping all right so let's go on inside and check out this beautiful new 274 bh this is going to be in the modern farmhouse interior they do have the classic cottage as well which is like a uh brown tone if you don't like the whites all right, stepping inside here, we'll start with the, I'll start with the entryway. Let's do that. Okay, awesome. They have a catch-all here now. So you've actually got like a desk area with two drawers. You've got a place for maybe some shoes right next to your fire extinguisher. You have got a little catch-all drop-all. Now we all know what happens if you don't have this. You just throw things on your table. You're going to throw things on your counter. So I really love that they've added this, um, little area here to kind of drop your stuff as you're coming in and out. You do have some ports here for charging. I don't like having my phone in the bedroom at night. That's just a thing about me. Um, it, I sleep better with my phone out in the kitchen. So this is super nice. You could just set up your like charging station for your phones and things like that out here. And then your bedroom is back there. So you just get a little bit of quiet time. Okay, we'll start in the back bedroom and then we'll come up front. So back in the bedroom, this is what's really neat. So 264 is going to be um, a half wall here. So there's really no privacy for mom and dad or whoever wants this bedroom in the front, the master. So now you've got an almost full wall on the 274 and a sliding door for full privacy. Keep in mind for RV standards, you do have to have that gap at the bottom. But yeah way quieter way more privacy you have a option to mount a tv there they put a backer in the corner and you are pre-wired for solar this sticker over here if you see this on board that means that it's ready for wiring if you want to add a solar panel so it does not come with one in here you could probably order from the factory with one if you wanted to but yeah you've got um closets on either side of the bed right on the left is a hanging closet i do like that they've closed this now and made it more of a shelf. It used to be pretty open and you would just see this background exposed up there. So I am a fan of that. And, and then this side is gonna be um, shelves. 
kind of varies by model what they put in these units. But one thing that I noticed is some customers comment that they can't fit their clothes in here. Like that their uh, hangers don't fit properly. So it is nice that you have some shelves on that side. All right, your bed is a queen bed. It's a pretty nice mattress. And they do give you a gas strut so that I am not holding on to this and it's staying up on its own, which is really great. They now have a privacy barrier between the inside of your coach and the outside storage. Um, that's more for safety reasons so nobody can like sneak into your camper when you're away um, through that pass-through storage bay. But yeah, lots of space in here. You've got the uh, griddle. It is a capital grill in this model. I know they couldn't keep up with the demand. They, had, they used to give Blackstones. Now they're doing Capital Grill or Suburban is what the griddle will be. Your uh, fuse box is right down there. All right. And then moving into the kitchen area. Lots of counter space. I'm a huge fan of this setup. This L kitchen just gives you a lot more space to prep, to work, clean things off here. In the corner, you've got some plugs for your coffee pot and stuff. And then you have your three burner cooktop, your oven. And up top is going to be your little popcorn microwave because realistically what else can you cook in that right next to your um electric fridge so nor cold fridge here pretty big pretty deep right they got rid of the gas electric so you don't have that condenser in the back that's another way to figure out if you can't find any buttons that say if you're not sure what that means just look inside if it has this metal um those metal racks in the back then it's a gap probably a gas electric fridge and there's your nice large freezer coming down in the middle of the coach you've got your his and hers dinette actually this is a four person dinette realistically you can fit four people you've got another backer in case you want to put a tv also new for 23 it looks like they did these smoky glass panels instead of full um full wood doors which is pretty nice and then you can drop this this down to a bed this will sleep one to two people now i feel like the length of this is for somebody about five six or smaller um that's off the top of my head so don't quote me on that so definitely um come into the dealership check it out i have a measuring tape here and we can kind of we can set the bed up and see if everybody fits who's coming with you camping uh this is a jackknife sofa on the right right across i am a fan of this setup you know a lot of times they have the couch and the dinette on one side and the tv's like off on this wall like in the corner over there where you're all looking and straining to look at the tv so now you've got some seats here the tv will be directly above you now yes the dinette can't watch tv um but you know if you're in here for a rainy day Maybe they're playing cards here and they're watching TV right there. So pretty nice setup. Uh, the double bunks in Jayco's, don't forget they've got 600 pound rating for each double bunk. So you can fit four adults comfortably in these bunks. They're pretty big. Um, the, the corner cut here means they might have to uh, cuddle a little bit. But you could probably fit like three of me. Three Gabbies on the top and three Gabbies on the bottom as long as they were um, okay with sharing shoulder space. So those are your bunks. And then moving into the bathroom, you do have a plastic toilet here, but it is directly across from a nice toilet paper holder, so it's a good angle. You've got your towel rack. Um, no medicine cabinet in here, guys, just the mirror. Hey there. And then you have your sink, little plugs for your hair dryer and whatnot, and then some storage underneath i do like how they don't put a shelf there so you can fit a little garbage can just got to figure out the best angle for that garbage can in here uh linen i wouldn't even call this linen storage because that's how deep it is but maybe like shampoo bottles maybe you roll the towels up and down this way then you could fit quite a bunch in there so i like that little any anything for storage is huge nice big shower here Okay, you're going to have that skylight up above you. There is a vent fan here right above me for condensation purposes. Now, here's the thing. So I learned that this material is actually water resistant, but people get really anxious when you just have that exposed in the shower. So this barrier is really more for um, customers to just feel comfortable that nothing's going to get super wet. Um, that is why most of the time you will find this little 
like exposure around the bottom of the shower and everybody's always like well why aren't they why don't they close that off better why don't they caulk that that is to allow condensation to get out so that you don't have water um, building up behind this unit your shower is actually going to go up a couple inches above this line so there is no way that water is getting up and in there okay so just for uh, reassurance purposes standing in the shower <laughs> I miss my camera guy because he could do this for me and show you guys. But I'm 5'2", and see how much headroom I have? I can lift my arms. I can lift my arm all the way up. It's probably not the best angle, but um, I can. you can get somebody in here around six foot for sure. All right. That's pretty much all I've got for you guys. Uh, again, this is the 2023 Jayco J-Flight 274BH model. 5,300 pounds dry, right there under 32 feet. Um bumper to bumper. Again, thank you so much for watching guys. And until next time, happy camping.